हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कोडिंग शिक्षा तो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ टू स्टोर डेटा इन फाइव बेस डेटा बेस यूजिंग जावा स्क्रिप्ट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू गेट डेटा फ्रॉम फाइव बेस सो बेसिकली इफ यू डोंट वॉच द लास्ट वीडियो प्लीज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉच द लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव गिवन द लिंक इन द वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑल्सो सो गो बैक एंड वॉच दैट वीडियो and if you want to read the data from firebase so just use this reference variable reference dot uh, we have on method here so whenever there is some kind of value being added in our database it takes a snapshot variable snapshot so this is a callback function and uh, we can then use this snapshot variable snapshot dot for each so dot for each so there is an element here that we need to pass here so this again takes a callback function this is child snapshot just write this and uh, you can see that this is a, again a callback function so inside this we can just store the reference here let's suppose data and uh, we can just call child snapshot dot val val stands for value so if i just console log data so now we will see that a json response being returned with containing all the values so if i add some kind of value to the database and click save data so i will see that you can see that all these data are returned here you can see that this contains country name if i just show you the database so you can see that this is a database these contains these kinds of entries all these entries are being returned from this code so you can see that if i only want the country i can just replace here data dot country so this will only fetch the country for me so let me just refresh it add some entry here save data so now you will see that only the countries will be retained so you can see that in similar fashion if i just want the name it will only return the name for me so you can see that all the names have been written here so you can just print them into your application it's it is very easy so thanks very much for watching this video